Who is Olympian Imani Khalif? An Algerian woman boxer is facing gender backlash. Algerian boxer Imani Khalif has landed in the middle of a divide about gender in sports after her Italian competitor, Angela Carini, pulled out seconds into their bout at the Paris Olympics. Outcry has come from conservatives like former U.S. President Donald Trump and Italian Premier Georgia Maloney. Khalif was disqualified from the 2023 World Championships after failing unspecified and untransparent eligibility tests for women's competition from the now-banned International Boxing Association. Khalif was assigned female at birth, and it says so on her passport, which is the International Olympic Committee's threshold for eligibility for boxing because of the rift between the sport's governing body and the IOC. Khalif is a formidable athlete with respected fighting skills, contending in top international events, including major amateur boxing tournaments over the past six years, such as the Tokyo Olympics. She's won a few regional gold medals, but Khalif was decidedly not known as a dominant champion, an overpowering physical specimen, or even a particularly hard puncher at her weight, not until this week in Paris. Khalif defeated Carini in just 46 seconds Thursday, with the Italian boxer's tearful abandonment of the fight, leading to innumerable portrayals of Khalif as an unstoppable punching machine whose presence threatens the health of her opponents. The reality, to those who actually watch or participate in Olympic-style boxing, is quite different. Here's what to know about Khalif and the controversy. Who is Imani Khalif? Born in 1999, Khalif is from rural northwestern Algeria. Her father initially didn't approve of girls participating in boxing, but Khalif said she gave up soccer as a teenager to pursue her new passion, even though she had to travel 10 kilometers each way to the gym. Khalif eventually caught the attention of Algeria's national team, making her major tournament debut in 2018 with a first-round loss at the AIBA, now the International Boxing Association, World Championships. She lost five of her first six elite-level bouts, but improved and excelled. Khalif was one of Algeria's first three Olympic women's boxers sent to Tokyo three years ago. She won her opening bout but lost her second to eventual gold medalist Kelly Harrington of Ireland. She also raised her profile by doing well in the next two world championships, and she even became a UNICEF national ambassador early this year. Why was she disqualified from the world championships? Khalif reached the final of the 2023 World Championships before she was abruptly disqualified by the IBA, which cited high levels of testosterone in her system. The circumstances of that disqualification have been considered highly unusual ever since it happened, and Khalif called it a big conspiracy at the time. She had previously competed without issues and was disqualified by the sport's governing body only after she defeated Russian boxer Azalia Aminiva in the 2023 tournament. The IBA is controlled by Umar Kremlev, who is Russian and brought in the state-owned energy supplier Gazprom as its primary sponsor and moved much of the governing body's operations to Russia. This week, the IOC described it as a sudden and arbitrary decision by the IBA, in which Khalif and Lin Yuting of Taiwan were suddenly disqualified without any due process. Lin was suspended for failing to meet unspecified eligibility requirements in a biochemical test. The reasons for the two disqualifications are extremely murky, as is almost always the case with the IBA. The governing body has revealed little about the nature of the tests, including what was tested and who tested it. This lack of transparency would be unacceptable in major Olympic sports, and the IBA has been banned from the Olympics since 2019. The IOC noted Thursday that the Boxing Association's own documents say the decision was made unilaterally by the IBA's Secretary General. Those documents also say the IBA went on to resolve at a meeting that it should establish a clear procedure on gender testing after it had already disqualified the two fighters. Why is there outcry about Khalif competing? Trump, Maloney, and others like Harry Potter author J.K. Rowling have complained about Khalif being allowed to compete. For the political far right in Italy, which has been targeting issues such as LGBTQ rights, Khalif's participation was just the latest evidence of woke culture infecting sport. Maloney, who met Friday with IOC President Thomas Bach, warned ideology taken to extremes can discriminate and harm women's rights.
IOC spokesman Mark Adams told reporters Friday that there has been a lot of misinformation around on social media particularly, which is damaging. Boxing in Paris is being run by a special IOC-appointed unit that the Olympic body says is applying rules, including eligibility decisions, that are based on the 2016 Games in Rio de Janeiro, following the split with the sport's governing body. The IOC insisted this week that no scientific or political consensus exists on gender and fairness issues. It gave updated guidance to sports governing bodies in 2021. Several sports bodies have updated their eligibility rules since the Tokyo Olympics were held in 2021, including World Aquatics, World Athletics, and the International Cycling Union. They all decided to bar athletes from women's events who have transitioned from male to female and went through male puberty. World Athletics also tightened rules last year to include testosterone testing for some athletes legally identified as female at birth, though with a medical condition that leads to some male traits. Is Khalif too good for Paris? Karini's unusual actions aside, it's highly unlikely anyone else in the women's 66 kilogram division thinks Khalif is unfightable. I'm not scared, her next opponent, Anna Luka Hamori of Hungary, said Thursday. They will face off Saturday. I don't care about the story or social media. Khalif is a medal contender in a sport where the Olympic draw can often determine the semifinal field by randomly pitting top fighters against each other too early in the competition. But Khalif isn't yet considered to be at the level of defending Olympic champion Busanaz Sermonelli of Turkey or 2023 world champion Yang Liu of China, the top two seeds in Paris. What do other fighters think about Khalif? Opinions about Khalif's presence in Paris have ranged widely, often directly correlated with awareness of the news cycle raging outside the athlete's village. Marissa Williamson Pullman of Australia lost to Khalif in the Netherlands last May, and she said Khalif was particularly strong. I did notice it, but you just keep fighting though, don't you? Williamson Pullman said. It's just a part of the sport. All you want to do is win, so you just keep chucking punches. Khalif also received support from peers like Amy Broadhurst, the accomplished Irish amateur who beat Khalif in the 2022 IBA World Championships. Personally, I don't think she has done anything to cheat, Broadhurst wrote on social media. I think it's the way she was born and that's out of her control. The fact that she has been beaten by nine females before says it all.